the modern world in 2019 faces many, many problems like climate change. However, there are more problems to focus about, like Sarah versus a star, when to use both. William Shakespeare, a famous English poet, once said, to be or not to be, that is the question, and Sarah and a star mean to be, but they both do. So it's kind of a problem. So let's look in here. It's like, you're like that guy right there. Okay, so first I'm going to go over the conjugations of them in the indicative, which is like the main five tenses you're going to be using. And I'm going to have separate videos for each of these in the future. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of them, except the basic ones you should know definitely the present, the preterite. So in the present, it's yo soy, tu eres, el es, nosotros somos, vosotros sois, and usted es son. First star, you have yo estoy, tu estás, usted está, nosotros estamos, vosotros estáis, and ellos están. I included the sochars here, even though you're most likely not going to hear them, and you can just take a look at all of these, too. I have other videos, like the perfect in the future tense, so go check those out. Okay, so now when to use ser specifically. So you has for description, occupations, characteristics, the time or date, relationships, and origins. So for descriptions, you're going to be like soy delgada, gruesa, corta, latina, judea, y azul, alta, um, I'm thin, thick, small, Latina, Jewish, blue, anything like that, colors, religion, all for ser. For occupation, any job, profession, soy, you wouldn't say soy una dentista, you'd be like soy dentista, or soy profesor. It's kind of weird, but you just gotta get used to that. A pharmaceutical is like a pharmacist, and an avogado is a lawyer. Okay, so no characteristics. No eres antipatico, eneroso, timida, chevere, y malvado. So that's like evil, cool, shy, generous, unnice. That word doesn't really exist in English, like not nice. Um, time and date, son las, Tracy media, es la una, hoy es martes. I'm going to have another video on time later because it's very complicated in Spanish. Okay, so now we have relationship. Ooh, so el es mi novio, ella es mi abuela. Soy el bisnieto de Josué. I think that's like great grandson. Pretty sure. Not 100% sure though. And then origin. So like where you're from. Soy de Colombia. Soy de Nicaragua. Anything like that. Okay. So now I want to use a star. So a star is for position, location, conditions, actions, or emotions. And it's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to get into it on the next slide. So for position, you know, estoy sentado. La puerta está abierta, cerrado, or that's incorrect, it should actually be abierta, whoops, because let's la puerta, la, and then está cubierto, it's covered, um, yeah, so then there's location, so estoy in Madrid, I'm in Madrid, estás en una tienda, you're in a store, mi coche estaba a la izquierda del centro comercial, my car was next to, or on the left of the mall. So the conditions, like, estoy enfermo, estás un poco loco, estuviste tan relajado, like, I'm sick, you're a little crazy, you were very relaxed, like, so relaxed. Then actions, I'm going to get into this on the next slide, estoy duchando, mi hermana está durmiendo, estabas escribiendo una carta. Then emotions. Estoy contento. Estaré muy cansado después del partido de tenis. I will be very tired. It's like I'm happy and then they are sad. Okay, so now more getting into the actions. That's kind of this other, it's not only really a tense, but it's just, so it's called the progressive and it's when you use ing's, you have to use a star for them. So I think it's important. So I'll maybe have a small video on this later. So a star and then you have the infinitive of the verb but you take away the ending and of uh, the A-R-E-R-I ending and add either ando or yendo. So like I says here, the progressive is when there's a current undergoing action. So like the cat is driving, he is running. Okay, so for any A-R verbs, you take away the A-R ending and make it ando. It's easy, A-A. And for any E-R-I-R, it's you take away the E-R-I-R and you make it yendo. Um, never confuse, even though it's ER, it starts with I. So just remember that. So here are some examples. Estaba lavando, ando, mis manos cuando viniste. 
I was washing my hands when you came. Ellas están practicando el fútbol. They are practicing soccer. It's never anda or yenda if it's a female either. It's always yendo. Mi hermana y yo estaremos manejando un coche en cinco años. My sister and I will be driving a car in five years. So it's always like, again, the ING, driving, practicing. Okay, so there are also a couple of regulars for it. So, whoops. Any verbs that end in U-I-R, E-E-R, A-E-R, like trier, layer, construir, you make it yendo instead of ando or yendo. Estoy destruyendo. Estamos construyendo. And here are some specific verbs other than destruir or construir. That's the U-I-R. You have le estoy oyendo. I'm listening to him. Oir. That is incorrect. Oir should have a tilde. Leer. Caer. Ear is just yendo. That's a little whack, that one. Creer. Then there's uir, fluir, trier. Just remember those. Okay, so also what I didn't mention on here is some verbs that have a stem change in the preterite are different in the progressive. So, for example, dormir, it wouldn't be estamos dormiendo, or están dormiendo, it'd be están durmiendo, like with a U, because in the L form, you have, in the preterite, you make it dormio, not dormio. I'll get into that a little bit later, and same for like morir, it's muriendo, like they are dying. Yeah, so that's basically it. You're like literally fluent right now. So pat yourself on the back. Thanks for watching. See ya.